What's good, people? It's doubly, 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 yeah. You already know, say it twice if you like, say it twice because I'm nice. Yo, pick, you know what I'm saying? I'm from New Orleans, I live in the A right now. I've been out here for a minute doing my thing. Really, I've been all over the place doing my thing, but the A is where I reside. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm getting it in at. So, you know, one day I just decided to do this music. So I took all my refund checks from school and everything and started buying equipment, you know what I'm saying? For long, I learned it, got good at it, and then I just took it from there, you know? I think as a young kid, I always liked music. I was always interested in music, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was young, I did a commercial. I was in a summer camp, and they gave us some options for that, for that summer. I got in the music program and ended up making the beat and writing the song for the local YMCA commercial. So from then it was just in me and plus my sister and everybody sings. But like I say, when I got in college is when I really took it seriously because I didn't want to do school and I just loved music. So I, it felt like the right fit. Some of you may know me as Prince Elton because that's when I, when I first started. I got to deal with Warner Brothers and I came out at, on the Prince Elton. And I learned a lot from that. Then kept grinding, and that brought me to doing this show with uh, Missy Elliott. So some of y'all may know me as Double E from the Missy Elliott Road Stardom Show, which I didn't win, but I should have won. At least everybody thought I should have. And I was the last rapper, you know, out of about forty thousand people who tried out. I got that. I got false. So that was a you know big thing. Time. I feel like. I'm unique because I'm one of the few rappers who don't mind being grown. I don't mind being a grown man. Like, you're not gonna see me with my pants down. I don't do all that fucking jewelry. I'm cool with being who I am and how, you know, my age. You know, I'm not gonna be making music trying to keep up with Soldier Boy and, and the rest of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Not knocking that, but that's just not the lane I'm in. And too many rappers now you don't realize that cats our age, we came up buying CDs. We came up listening to rap music, but now it's like we can't listen to it no more because none of that shit we can relate to. So that's the that's that's the role I'm stepping in. And a lot of people are scared to go that route because they feel like it won't sell. But they don't understand the same people that they, you know, uh, forgetting about are the people who know to go buy CDs. But if ain't nothing out there for them to go buy, they ain't gonna go get that shit. And that's where it's at. So I'm unique in a sense that I don't mind being who I am in my age. I'm a grown ass man. I'm looking for grown ass women. You feel me? It's that simple. Um, I did a song called Dreaming, and that that song kind of embodies all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause when you going through all these different phases and learning everything, you are gonna find a lot of times you sitting there trying to figure out well what, what I'm gonna do next and the only way to figure that out and even begin to think about going to the next step you find yourself dreaming about it you know what I'm saying and that's why I did the song because one night I was in a studio and I was just feeling a certain type of way I was really emotional I had just been going through so much here I done took upon every role you can think of and I'm still not where I want to be then the people on the outside looking at me like I done made it you know, you can't tell them I ain't where I need to be. So it's like, you know, what, what, what's there left for me to do? You know what I'm saying? So I was in the studio one night dreaming, just just dreaming about everything I wish I, I had and wish I could be and wish I what places I could go. And I just started singing. Working to be somebody. Uh, Rain and her, like, again, it, it, it goes along with what I like. I like live music. It's live music. It's for uh, up to for the upscale crowd or whatever. And I had to figure out how to get the attention. Shit, everybody wanna make it rain, so I like make it rain on her. So immediately you gonna think of the strip club song, but really it's not a strip club song. It stands for uh, respect, admire, inspire, and nurture. 